Meantime, the Nigerian Army and Ikan Kuru have organized a one-day seminar in Adoikiti. It is meant to educate Nigerians on the dangers of spreading fake news and harmful content on social media. Major General N.C. Ibo, who was represented by Brigadier K.G. Bola Saeed, emphasized the need for collective responsibility in countering destructive comment on social media. He called for active participation in sanitizing social media for effective communication. Now, the seminar focused on online etiquette and curbing the spread of fake news and hate speech. The event was also aimed at educating Nigerians on responsible cyberspace behavior. So not get what you see here for as a soldier. Before we hang this uh, seminar, we'll tell you who a soldier looks like. Any soldier can remove his dental is a criminal. Remove his dental and everything you know that is going for illegal duty. Or oh, he's not a soldier. Are you getting me? So very camouflage or nowhere is to control access and to reduce criminality. And you are also educating the soldiers that respect we get respect. I feel I'm living here to protect what for that is to interact with the soldiers too and tell them the do's and those. If you respect yourself, naturally you get that respect. It is it is giving. So the internet is very very important. So we cannot underestimate it. Because there's this have what we call classic media, which is your newspaper, television, radio. But now at the click, at the push of a button, we are swiped away from discovering new things. So we need to understand that the internet has come to stay and it just keeps expanding. Now we've heard about what is called AI, artificial intelligence, and we've also heard about what we call the metaverse. The that keeps expanding. From Egiti now to Kaduna State, where a group, Anti Corruption Corps, has called on the Ministry of Agriculture, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC, to investigate the Bank of Agriculture over alleged mismanagement of funds and other corrupt practices at the bank. Addressing a press conference in Kaduna, Director of the Corps, Dr. Lena Gimba, said the bank has undergone several financial mismanagement, which it said has led to the non-payment of staff salaries for two months. The group said the BOA has failed to utilize the $10 billion now received from the federal government in 2022, hence the need for probing and accountability at the bank. We implore the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and the Honorable Minister of Agriculture to take urgent actions. Suspend Mr. Alwan Ali Al-Hassan from his position as Acting Managing Director pending a, pending a comprehensive investigation into allegation raising. Investigate the financial and managerial conduct of Acting Manager during his tenure, the integrity and the missions of the Bank of Agriculture in Nigeria. Your prompt attention to this matter is paramount, and we trust that justice will be served. We also called for the suspension of the acting MD, Alwan Ali Al Hassan, and the management team. I'm receiving a substantial sum of 10 billion naira from the federal government in 2022. The managing director of Bank of Agriculture failing to utilize the funds according to the bank budget warranting an investigation. It's allegedly undermined the bank mission by running it is a one-man show, particularly in the disbursement of the agricultural loan, sidelining establishing procedure, accusing of valuation recruitment procedure by passing interview and examination in staff employment. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.